Number five, suppose a woman does 500 joules of work and 9,500 joules of heat transfer occurs into the environment in the process, meaning she loses heat. Letter A, what is the decrease in her internal energy, assuming no change in temperature or consumption of food? All right, so uh, check out number two for, I gave you a table, whole detailed discussion of this, and I like to use this particular formula, all right, change in internal energy will be equal to the change in heat of the I should really state this a little more specifically. Change in internal energy of a system is equal to the change in heat energy of the system plus change in the work of a system or work energy, if you want to call it, of a system. Okay. If I want to find the decrease in internal energy of a particular system, then I better know the change in heat energy of that system and the change in work energy, basically, of that system. Okay. So um, now all I have to do is basically just plug in the values with the appropriate signs. And that's where the table in question number two comes in handy. So here, change in internal energy is equal to now change in heat energy. Well, it says that the heat energy, right, 9,500 joules of heat transfer occurs into the environment. Well, if it goes into the environment, where did that energy come from? Well, it came from the woman, right? So the woman's losing that amount of heat energy. So that's why it's negative, 95 uh, heat is being removed from that particular system, and the woman in this case is the system. All right, so 9,500. Plus then, my the work change. So it says, uh, suppose a woman does 500 joules of work. So she's doing work, right? Work is being done by the system, by the woman, on something else. I don't. We don't know what that is, but I don't care what it is. Uh, in order to solve her internal change in energy, all I need to know then is her change in heat and her change in work. So she does 500 joules, so it's taken out of her, essentially. So here, all we got to do is just add this together, right? So negative 9,500 minus then 500. Why did I need a calculator for that? I don't have any idea. I think I just go right to it, right? You, <laughs> it's obviously it's 10,000. So that's in terms of joules, all right? That's what happens when you rely on it too much. All right, so that's her internal change in energy. Okay, she literally lost, she has lost 10,000 joules, okay? All right. Uh, letter B, what is her efficiency? So it's kind of like, well, what do, what do they mean by efficiency? I mean, we've got formulas on the right-hand side, but what, is, what does it kind of mean? Well, think about it, all right? If she does, and we'll call this 500 joules of useful work, Okay, the work, when we when we define work, it's kind of like a useful work, like the work is being done to do something. Okay, you know, like, let's say, for example, here, here you are. And let's say here's a block. All right. And we want to lift the block, I don't know, onto a table or something. So you would come along and lift the block up and then bring it up onto the table. Correct. Now you are doing, you're adding, you're essentially doing work, right? And you're adding then your work into this block, right? By raising it a certain height, right? Its potential energy has increased. So if its potential energy has increased, then your energy had to have gone down. But does your energy go down by exactly the same amount as the energy of this box goes up? And you might say, well, yes, no, that's conservation of energy. Well, not exactly. Now, not that the laws of conservation of energy have been somehow, you know, in this single problem, I've, I've overturned the, the laws. I have not. What, you know this to be the case, that once you, you lift this block up, right, and you might not notice it by doing a single block, but you, if you had to do this several times, what happens to your body temperature? Your body temperature goes up, right? So in reality, right, if, if you were to think about it, Whatever work, whatever work you added to this block will be the work that you added to the block will be less than the actual amount of energy it took your body to raise this block. Because some of that energy because the total amount of energy you created, some of that is being lost as heat. Okay? So that kind of now if you think about that, right? Pretend that we raise this block and we increase the block's energy value by, let's say, you know, uh, I don't know, five joules. Okay. And let's say you had to do, you had to do 100 joules of work in order to do that. 
Okay, why? Well, because you're not a perfect machine. You cannot take all of your energy perfectly and add it into this block to lift it. Some of the energy is lost as heat. It's kind of like, if you think about it, it's like friction, right? If you were to move a block across a certain surface, right, and you move it, you know there's friction occurring over here, right? Nothing's kind of perfect in life, right? So it's the same idea. It's kind of like there's friction. There's a frictional chain, or, or there's a certain amount of friction in the conversion of, let's say, uh, your internal energy into pure work energy. And that friction kind of comes out as heat, all right? So you don't get a perfect conversion, all right? Now, what that basically means is that if I now wanted to calculate your efficiency, it kind of should make a little more sense now, right? You might say, well, I did, I wanted to lift a block right onto the table. So the useful amount of work I did was I added five joules. That was what I wanted to do. That was the useful work I did. But in order to in order to raise this, in, excuse me, in order to kind of donate five joules of energy to this block, I had to expend 100 joules of energy in order to do so, okay? Because you're, again, you, you don't have a perfect conversion. There's essentially a friction, so to speak, in converting the energy. So if I ask you now, what's your efficiency? How might you think you might calculate that? You might say, well, what is efficiency? Well, think about it. How efficient are you in converting your internal energy into actual useful energy or useful work. Well, you might say, oh, I could probably just take a simple ratio of a five over 100, right? And essentially I'm then, you know, and if you wanted to find a percentage, you could do that too, right? Multiply it by 100 and you would find that you're 5% efficient, okay? Meaning that only 5% of the total amount of work that you generate goes to doing useful work. Okay, that's basically efficiency. Now, whether you need to give it in terms of a percent or a decimal, I mean, who cares, right? They're both the same thing, basically, all right? One just looks a little nicer since we don't might not have to deal with a decimal, all right? But generally speaking, you can give the efficiencies in, in decimal form. So now think about what's going on here. The woman, the woman's change in internal energy, she lost 10,000 joules of energy, okay? So her, that's the total amount of energy that she has outputted, let's say. But only out of that 10,000, only 500 went to doing quote-unquote useful work. So what's her efficiency? Well, you would simply now calculate it this way, right? You'd say 500 over one, uh, 10,000, right? Just like what we, what we did before. And notice the zeros there cancel, right? So what is it really? It's really, oh, wait a minute, 5 over 100, and what is that? 0 0.05. That's her efficiency. Okay, if you want to put in percent, I gave it to you on the left-hand side. But usually it's left in decimal form. So hopefully that makes a little more sense. All right, I'm probably going to refer you back to this problem for a kind of just a discussion on, uh, you know, efficiency, so to speak. I think this is a little more intuitive than thinking about uh, formulas and whatnot. Okay, uh, and if you, by the way, needed a formula, it's kind of, right, if you wanted to create a formula here, it's kind of like saying the efficiency here in, in a problem like this would be equal to the work done divided by the total internal change, okay? Kind of could be your quote-unquote formula. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. I do hope you're getting a lot of value from these videos, and if you are, just give us a hand. You know, tell your friends, or they might find these videos helpful too. Thank you so much.